All right guys, so today we're going to take a look at how to make buttons with Tailwind CSS. Yes, I know buttons might sound a little boring, a little basic, but it's super important to get your buttons right in your UI um, because obviously buttons are used everywhere and it's extremely important that you get them right. So we're going to take a look at three different kinds of buttons that is filled button, outline buttons and icon buttons. And all of that will be in the timestamps below. Um, so you can skip around if you'd like. Right over here, I just have a basic uh, body style setup so that we can go ahead with the work simply. And to add Tailwind, I've just used their CDN, which you can find easily in their description, uh, in their documentation. And I'll add the link to their documentation in the description below so you guys can take a look. So to get started with the first type of button, we are going to add a filled button, which is your general normal button that has a solid background. So uh, what Tailwind does is it doesn't give you components, but rather uh, styles through classes that you can compose together to make elements. So the first step could be to give it a background color. So you give it a background color of blue 300 and this is how you would do it. You say BG and then hyphen the color and all these colors, color their color palette you can easily find on their website. All right, so now this looks a little cramped up. So I'll add a bit of uh, padding to it. So to add padding, I can say P hyphen four. It adds a certain amount of padding to it. And this four is just the uh, relative scale that corresponds to some actual values in when applied in styles. So you, that also you can check out in their documentation what this actually corresponds to. So what P4 does, P hyphen four does is, it uh, applies a padding of amount four in all four di di directions. That is top, bottom, left and right. All right, so if you wanted to just apply padding to left and right, you could say PX4 instead of P4 because X is uh, by convention the horizontal axis and that con constitutes of left and right. So that's that. And to add a little bit of horizontal padding, you can uh, vertical padding you can simply similarly say px4 and then py2 and i think i'm going to bump up the padding to increase the button size all right and now i think the corners look a little too sharp and to round them out you simply have to say rounded and it applies a certain amount of border radius to it and now you can see uh, the edges are not as sharp as before because some border radius has been applied to it all right so that's it for the filled button. It was pretty simple. And now we can move on to the second button. That is an outline button. So an outline button basically won't have any background. So I can first start by giving it a text color. So text hyphen blue hyphen 300. So uh, like how you give it a background color with BG hyphen the color. Similar for text, you have to say text hyphen uh, the color basically from their color palette. All right, let's try saving that. The next step for me is to add a similar padding to it. Like we added on a filled button. So I will say PX6, PY3, and then adding a border. So if you just uh, typed in border, it would give it a border of one pixel. But if I, but I want it to be thicker, so I can say border hyphen two. This would give it a border of two pixels. And now to specify the border color, Similar to background and text, you can say border hyphen and a color from the color palette. I'm just going to use blue 300. And now something that you might notice is if you were using a filled button and outline button side by side in your UI, then there's a high mismatch of dimensions because this has two pixels extra. So before I fix that, I just want to round off the edges. I'll say rounded and this also has rounded edges now. So to fix the issue that we were addressing, you can just add a two pixel border of the same color to this button and it would basically uh, increase its size sort of. So I can just copy this over here. And now they both look the same size, at least in height. Yeah. So the last button that we're going to look at is an icon button. So for that, we obviously need an icon. And my go-to for icons is heroicons.dev. Yeah, this is the URL. And these are icons by basically the creator of Tailwind CSS. These are pretty nice icons. I really like them. 
So all you need to do is click on one of them and the SVG for that icon gets copied. And then I can come in here and paste it in and you'll see we have a huge SVG icon over here. So first of all, I'll give it a background. BG Blue 300 and then I'll I don't need to give it padding I'll just say rounded full so as we applied rounded over here to apply a little border radius rounded full applies as, as much border radius as possible and that gives us circle gives us a circle button now this seems too huge so I can specify a height and width for it so I can say h hyphen 12 and width hyphen 12 now this is the tailwind way of uh, specifying the height and width you say height and then hyphen the amount of height width and then hyphen the amount of width and i can apply a certain height and width to the svg as well i'm adding this these classes to the svg h8 and w8 so our button has a height and width of 12 amount and our svg of 8 amount so by default there's a lot of space between them so what i can do to center this is use flexbox on the button so i can say flex to basically uh, this is equivalent to display flex and to say justify content center i can say justify center and then to say align item center i can simply say items center and this should give it a, give us a perfectly centered icon in our button cool so that's about it for this video i have a lot more coming uh, coming soon and if you like this video definitely drop a like and let me know uh, some feedback in the comments so i could improve this stuff for the upcoming tutorials and definitely a whole lot more is coming up so stay tuned guys thank you